Just water in that spray bottle, so nothing to worry about. Done your hair. You look cute. Mummy, for the other hand, doesn't. Before I let Maggie demolish this, as you can probably hear in the background, she's very hungry, but she is having a Marmite crumpet, pretty much a whole banana and strawberries. So we will see what she eats, but let's go give it to her. Nice. She hasn't had a crumpet in a very long time. What do you think? They're cold, aren't they? She has finished her breakfast. There is a bit on the floor. But she ate pretty much. She ate all the banana and just left her strawberries and half her crumpet. But I'm going to clean her up and then get myself something to eat. It does not look the nicest, but I've got avocado on toast. And then I always take a um, uh, probiotic and vitamin D tablet in the morning with my breakfast as well. So I'm going to take those. And I'm going to go out and sit down and watch some telly while Maggie plays. Maggie. Maggie, do it. Hit it. So you can't eat it. A part of our morning has been missed because I don't know what the matter is, darling. Mm. She's just woken up. Um, because I had to go out and pick mm. something up for Maggie's bedroom. Mm. Oh, love you. Go kiss. She's just woken up, so she's not very happy. Mm. Just a lunch. Mm. Funny, who's that? Who's that in there? Is that Maggie? <gasps> who's that baby? Okay, she is now eating, and as I was saying, our morning routine it hasn't been exactly how it usually is. Um, we've had a bit of a chill morning, and then I had to go out, so I didn't get to do like my usual cleaning. But I will be cleaning the kitchen in a minute. And I need to clean the rest of the house. Maggie is currently having a snack. The dogs are scrounging, waiting for her to drop some food. But once she's had a snack, 
I've got to go out, so I'm going to try and tackle this kitchen now, or at least a little bit. And then once we get back, I'll get her some more food. Um, she'll probably end up having like two snacks, really, instead of like an actual lunch today. And then a nice big dinner. Basically, our day just consists of lots and lots of playing. Pretty much, didn't it, huh? Huh? Uh, can you blow them a kiss? Mwah! Blow a kiss, ready? Mwah! She's going to put her thumb in her mouth. She has started putting her thumb in her mouth. She doesn't suck it, she just bites it. It's very, very annoying. Stand up. Stand up. Can you stand? Stand. Ready? Nearly, that was so close. What are you doing? You're faking it. You don't want the toys in there. Mummy, give it down to you. Oh. Do you want it? What about this? Do you want the stick? Oh, so close. Like, she lets go to grab the top of the toy box. But it won't be long, I don't think. So, if you've seen this burn on my hand, which you might not have, like, when I'm filming, because I tend to film with that pan, um, I burnt myself while I was cooking. So, that's not fun. Like... so close you good there maggie you got strawberries on your bum who is that beautiful girl her hair is getting so thick and long she's like get away from me so thick and long now at the back like i don't think it'll be long till i can start putting it back which is really cute like it is getting really long <laughs> Are you chilling? Get that belly, get that belly. Get that belly. Boo. Boo, boo. Can you jump? Jump, jump, jump. Can you see that little scratch on her face? She got that scratch and I have absolutely no idea where from. But I feel really bad because it looks awful. Careful, you're gonna hurt your fingers. Winnie really needs a baby proof these now. Come outside for some fresh air. Although Maggie's trying to climb back in the house because she's seen the dogs. Where you going, Maggie? You getting the doggy? Is he bug? <sighs> What are you doing? You see the doggy? It has gotten to the point where changing Maggie's nappy is literally impossible. She currently doesn't have a nappy on. Like, she will get up and crawl away every time I want to do it. And because they're cloth, they do take a little bit longer to pop up. But she always tries to take her books off the bookcase. And if I change it up on a changing mat, she tries to roll off. So I'm going to attempt to get this on her, but it's probably going to be a struggle. Right. Oh, mummy needs that. Can you say duck? Duck. Duck. Surprisingly, that went very well for how she usually is. Duck. So, like I think I mentioned earlier, I popped out to get her a new bookshelf that we're actually going to put up there. 
and then i don't know where we're gonna put that but it's gonna come out of the room because i want to get a wardrobe because her clothes are getting big and the drawers aren't getting any bigger we're running out of space christmas maggie got these uh finger puppets and she's learned i don't know if she's gonna do it now but she's learned to put them on her finger what's in there obviously i just did that but she's been doing it herself <laughs> what are you doing what is all of it's in your nose you on it mm. look at the mess of you so i was about to say we've got home maggie's have her second kind of snacky lunch she looks an absolute mess just got a phone call so i had to end that but she is still an absolute mess but before I went out, I put my, well, my Maggie's cloth nappies on for a pre-wash. So I will show you what I do with them now. As the nappies are, they go in for a pre-wash. And now they come out pretty dry and pretty clean. But they're still stuffed. So I, I don't unstuff them before I put them on for the wash. So then I now will sit and take all the linings out and then put them in again which i'll do all that and then i will show you what i do next so all the nappies now the liners are taken out and everything like is unstuffed so i literally just shove everything back in the machine like i'm doing here and the first wash is just water it's not any detergent or anything so i will show you the next step I've now filled the drawer up with detergent and the correct amount for my machine and the amount of nappies that I have stored. So now I will turn it on and I will just put it on a cotton wash. But I will put it on the highest temp and the maximum amount of spins. Which I don't know why it's telling me it's three hours. So hopefully that will calculate the correct time now. There you go. So now it is saying an hour and 39 minutes. And I will let that go. And um, this wash kind of just kills all the bacteria. And then I'll come back to you guys once that is all done. Doggy. Is he getting you? Is it? <laughs> Who is it? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, poor. I'm currently making Maggie's dinner, but while that's on, I have now set this off for another rinse cycle with no detergent, a hot wash and maximum spins, and then that will be the wash complete. I was upstairs cleaning and Maggie has managed to get herself trapped. You did it! What have you got? You're in your own little element right now, aren't you? Little world. What one does it go in? No, it goes in that one. Can we put it in? Look, he's a two-handed job. Let me hold the bottom bit and you pull him out. Can you get him? <laughs> She's standing on her own. <coughs> oh, what did the... Oh! Where the ducky's out. I got him. Here you go. Quack, quack. Duck. What's daddy done? Can... Dig it under. Look how long her hair looks. Oh, it's... you did duck her to dig her. Go. He's <laughs> so cute, isn't it? She's cute. Is it so long though? Do you like a camera in your face all the time? I'm used to it. Obviously, being this famous and good looking, it just comes with the territory, you know? Yeah. I'm getting Maggie ready for bed. And I've just learnt a new skill she can do. Ready? It. I know she can clap, but this is different. Ooh. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap, clap, yay. So she knows to clap even before I've said 
clap. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah!